All right, let's have a look at the versioning concept. There is a particular document. Everybody in the team collaborates towards it. Everyone opens up that Excel updates some items on a regular basis. It's happening every few minutes. It's happening every few days. So you have one consistent copy where the data is always fresh. Manager gets to retrieve it, consume it, share it, whatever it wants to do it. But now let's have a look at this scenario. User A updates some data in an Excel, rather creates it, making it version one. User two opens up the file, updates it, making it version two. User three, again, opens up the same Excel file, updates it. Then user four, again, does the same thing, making it version four. Manager comes, have a look at the document, and manager feels that uh, although uh, manager can see that all the versions are there, uh, document has been updated four times, manager can review each version. Version that feels uh, more appropriate to the manager, manager selects that version and restore it. In this diagram, you can see manager has restored it back to version two making the Excel file looks like exactly how it was when the second user updated it. So let's have a quick look at it practically and let's see how it uh, works exactly uh, on the environment. Alrighty, now let's have a look at how versioning works in SharePoint document library. Now this is a document, yeah? Let's first have a look at this document. It says Apple Monkey, final now, I, I will just close it actually, yeah. You can see this document is still here. Now, as I said, versioning is by default enabled in SharePoint Online. Let's see where do we get it from? How do we see the enabled versions which are already available to us? Uh, by just getting into the view, as I just did, as you can see, I have just ticked this box called version. I'm just gonna click on OK and I will get to see versions here. So this document has been updated eight times. So the initial time of the document was created, it had version one. After that, it has been updated eight times, making it ninth version. Let's have a look at it. What's in the document? All right, document looks good. I'll say, okay, this is final. Yep, now that it's there, I'll I'll wait for it to say saved. It is saved. I'm just going to close it. Now I'm back on the screen here. I will just zoom in a little bit so you can see very clearly. Now you have the screen and you can see that the version is now updated to version 10. I am I need to go back to version 9 where that bit was not written, the one which I just did. I'm gonna click on this these three dots, gonna click on version history and I will see ninth version in here and I will just go ahead and restore it. Yes, it says yes. Uh, I'm gonna just click on restore and that's it. It will still do a version in increment because it has still done more work on the document. But now when we're gonna open it, we will not find the sentence which we written earlier. Yeah, because it has gone to a previous version. So let's close it. I hope that was helpful when it comes to versioning as well. And uh, there are more concepts associated with versioning like check-in, check-out and minor and major version as well. Uh, more than happy to talk about those in detail. Please leave me a comment if you want me to talk more about document libraries. Um, I'd be more than happy to do another session. Uh, well, thanks for now and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.